What? What's up, guys? Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum on a Firecracker Red GPZ 1100. Woohoo! The Red Rocket, 1982, 11 second quarter mile. Cycle World said it was the fastest motorcycle of its type in that era. It was the world's fastest 1100. And boy, oh boy, it's a fun bike to ride. It stood the test of time. It's absolutely gorgeous, classic superbike with modern style fuel injection, DFI fuel injection. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. 11 second quarter mile, 120 mile an hour superbike. Straight out of the 80s. I was a sophomore in high school when this bike was born, and uh, it is an extremely rare piece. My jaw dropped when Kenny pulled this thing off the trailer. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. When this bike came in, we thought it was perfect, and Mark Olson, who was our perfectionist mechanic, took it in and came up with a two-page work order to make it really perfect. Um, the, I guess the brakes were dragging a little bit, so he went through and completely rebuilt the entire brake system. I probably would have left it alone, but the master cylinders were rebuilt front and rear, the calipers were rebuilt front and rear, new pads all the way around. He took the valve covers off, adjusted the valves, all new valve cover gaskets and uh, rubbers, and went through the whole bike top to bottom, and then went through the detail department and handed me a $3,300 work order. So uh, when you're buying a classic like this and you think it's perfect, you're better off having a, a professional like Mark inspect it, he went through this thing top to bottom and it is absolutely awesome. Um, extremely rare piece. Kenny, uh, you did some research on Mecham, right? Right, so no comparable sales data on an 82 GPZ 1100. They made these for two years in this body style. Um, this would be the more desirable year. This is the year with the bikini fairing, 81 didn't have it. Here with the bikini fairings, so you have that classic cafe styling and then the fuel injection. This is huge, 81 was an analog system. It was slow. This is the digital fuel injection system. It is more accurate. It has more pulses. There's less parts. It's more lightweight and it's also more reliable. So you're getting a classic super bike, but you're getting modern fuel injection. The brakes are perfect. It's got a great set of tires on it and it handles like a dream and it's fast as hell. So um, definitely a head turner investment quality bike. I'll call this Kaplan America approved. I'd sell this to a friend or family member known as a bike you can get on a ride cross country. It's a beauty and extremely rare. The only one we've seen uh, sold data we could find was the one we sold last year, which was an 81, and it needed a paint job. It needed a complete break. It needed the $3,300 work order we did to this one, plus a uh, paint job and tires and a bunch of other stuff. And it, it sold for just over $6,000. Yeah, they're, they're, um, so this is definitely three times the bike. Um, it's in beautiful condition, ready to go to a show or... I add, um, you look up this bike on Google, um, that's our bike is going to come up uh, that we sold two years ago. We still get calls on that bike. Um, ask people asking if it's still available. There's one little scratch on the side cover right here. Believe it or not, um, I took it off the center stand here, and it was in gear in, in it. I caught it, but it laid down and caught the tar a little bit. It didn't get the end of the uh, grip right here, or the lever, or, or the mirror, because I caught it. But I did. Um, they put a little scratch right here, uh, sad to say, but the pegs look great. It doesn't, I don't see any indication of the bike having been dropped. Um, the uh, the header is uh, got a fresh coat of wrinkled black paint on it, and it's a period correct Kirker with a Laser Tech Metzler tires, original suspension. Just a beautiful Cladix. S same year as the Eddie Lawson replica. There is a tiny little uh, crack in the seat cover right here, the original 37-year-old cover. But the paint job is flawless. On this side here, take a look at this side. I didn't see any issues. Uh, another t tiny little scratch right, right here, a couple little scratches right here. Typical of a 37-year-old motorcycle. It's not brand new, but it hasn't been abused, and it's in beautiful condition. Certainly roll this across the line at Mecham or uh, on this eBay auction. It's going to ring the bell because it's an extremely rare, stunning classic with a two-page work order of everything that it did need really sorted, sorted out. And we're giving it two thumbs up as Absolutely, two thumbs up. Is there anything you want to tell them before I take it for a rip? I'm going to bring it down Reservoir Road. This style GPZ in the two-year run, this bike right here is the one to have. And good luck finding one that's just been sorted out by a reputable service shop. Um, actually, well, one of the best mechanics on the East Coast here, Mark Olson. Um, Mark is a perfectionist, and, and he, he twisted the wrenches on this thing. It's perfect and ready to rumble. Without further ado, let me go have some fun. Fires right up, snicks right in the gear, brakes are on point. Hey, we do, we do 
drive by. Oh yeah. Today is July 12th. I didn't do any bike rides yesterday because three times on July 11th, I broke my leg, my, my ankle, and my wrist racing the motorcycles on that day. So let's hope July 12th is a much luckier day because the 11th sucked for me in the past. So yesterday I just worked on cleaning the shop. Today I'm having fun. Woohoo! Yeah! This thing pulls like a freight train. What a machine. Love the riding position too. A little bit of traffic here. I'm gonna go spin her around, do another drive by. Then I'm off, I'm off like honeymoon pajamas. I'm gonna go have some fun on this thing. You know, when you're when you have the helmet cam on, the microphone's inside the helmet, so you can't really hear that motor sing, but hopefully Kenny will get it on the drive-by. It's a bumpy road, but the suspension on this thing's on point. Really nice. Love the cockpit fairing. Speedometer, tachometer, right where you want them. Nice loud horn. Typical Japanese electronics. Everything's on point and works beautifully. And uh, these Metzler laser techs hook up nice. Putting that 108 horsepower to the ground. What a smooth running motor. Nice day for a ride, nice summer day. And uh, this is one of the one of the classics. If, if I had the, the money that I invested in the museum, this is something, if I, if I still had my 200 bike private collection that I sold to sponsor the museum, I, this is a keeper, this one right here. It's just a super cool looking classic that runs like a rape dape, rides, rides beautifully. And I really like the riding position. You sit pretty much upright, Comfortable, you're not all bent bent over like you are on some of the high boosts or the, or the uh, newer super bikes like the 600s. Plenty of torque, and this is a great motor for long distance traveling. It's pretty much vibration free compared to the Harleys I, I usually ride for my daily riders. And uh, totally reliable. This is the kind of bike you take it down to Daytona for bike week. You roll up on your $50,000 CVO. No one takes a second look. You roll up on this GPZ 1100 and uh, you're going to need to put a not for sale sign on it because there'll be a crowd around it. People asking you questions. It's just a rare piece. Matter of fact, I haven't seen one down in Daytona in years. This or, or the Eddie Lawson replica, which is basically the same thing as this with a green paint job. I frankly personally like the red better. I think it's really sharp. Hopefully we don't get held up by traffic here for long. It's Friday afternoon, everybody wants to get out of work and go home. Tonight is bike night at Old School Harley Davidson. We'll be down there with the crew. The band down there tonight. The local Harley dealer, uh, my friend Harry, owned it since he was 18 years old. And he's 60 and just retired and sold the place. So the new owner's taking over. I'm going to go down and uh, help him uh, break the ice on the new place. Welcome them to the neighborhood. It's only about two miles down the road from the museum. Old, old school Harley Davidson. If you ever come to visit us, you want to get a t-shirt from the local Harley shop, 
that's a place to go. Very nice handling bike for an 1100, big, big four cylinder bike, it's pretty nimble. Close my visor here. You can't hear the engine as well with the visor closed. I know there's a way you can hook up a mic so you can hear the engine sound on the outside of the helmet. I've seen a couple YouTubers that uh, have their, their um, I think Lady Law Harley Davidson. I was watching one of their videos and he had a setup with an, ex an external mic so you can hear the engine. But with the helmet on, it's very quiet. The Kirker makes a nice mellow sound. Again, this is a bike you can get on, ride it to the beach. Uh, it's reliable enough to be daily transportation, which would be a lot of fun, but it's an investment quality bike. And uh, if you just want to buy it and look at it, it'll pay dividends that way and also when you sell it because it's going up in value pretty much every day. riding bike fuel injections on point the brakes as I mentioned before the whole brake system is brand new uh, mark rebuilt both master cylinders both calipers is this some pictures of the whole brake system on the bench completely exploded marks a perfectionist uh, I thought the brakes were fine um, he wanted to rebuild them because he felt they were dragging a little bit so he completely dismantled them and totally rebuilt them did a compression test, 150 PSI across the board after adjusting the valves for the top ends in excellent shape. It's got fresh oil in it. Chains in mint shape, nice and clean and oiled. And it went through the detail shop for the full Monty detail on my dock. So if it needs nothing, get on it and ride it. Take it to the beach, take it cross country, rip it down the Blue Ridge Parkway, wherever you want to go. What an engine, wow. Beautiful. Very nice. This is one of my favorite roads if you ever come to visit us. This is called Re Reservoir Road. It has 22 corners on 2.2 miles. So every tenth of a mile you're going around a corner on average. It's basically one big roller coaster, uphill, downhill. Beautiful Connecticut countryside, one of my favorite roads. Unfortunately, I got some traffic in front of here slowing me down, but maybe they're doing me a favor, I don't know. I would have loved to have come ripping through here. The lady in the Beamer here is uh, holding me up. Not for long though. Patience is a virtue. Woohoo! Bye bye, Mama. Bye bye. mile an hour top speed 108 rear wheel horsepower claimed and uh, 11 second quarter mile Eddie Lawson dominated the uh, Daytona the banks of Daytona with a production version of this highly modified production version and uh, they won a lot of races with these this motor has been used in drag racing cross country riding uh, police applications one of the most durable air cooled engines ever made inline fours and this one's super tight very nice runner well 
Hopefully it won't piss off the neighbors here too much. But I gots to go. Got the need for speed. Hope everybody's having a good summer, enjoying riding their bikes like I am every day. Got George Suchowski, the horsepower man, coming down from Moroni Harley Davidson tomorrow for part five of the Harley Davidson Dyna S 117 cubic inch fire breathing dragon build. So that'll be fun. We'll be riding that one probably tomorrow. Nothing like a four cylinder super bike from the 80s. What a great, great ride. This is the investment that keeps on giving. Fun to ride, fun to look at, fun to own, easy to maintain, low maintenance, and uh, absolutely a classic head turner. What else do you need to say? Just write the check, we'll, we'll ship it to you. You can come pick it up. You can ship it anywhere in the world. Pretty much, I uh, can ship it to the UK, all the way overseas for 750 bucks. Anywhere in the continental US for 750 or less. Figure 300 New England, 500 to Florida, but not over 750. Got some great shipping connections. My son, Kenny Jr. will hook you up with a shipper and arrange everything for you. And uh, all you gotta do is turn the key and ride. All the work's been done. This thing's beautiful condition. No uh, going back and forth to the dealer and chasing discontinued parts and hoping you can get it running right. This one's mint right out of the box. It's like buying a brand new one from 1982. Except for it's worse substantially more than it, than it was then. If you have any questions, give us a call. 860-454-7024. This guy just ran the red light. Whoopie doop.